Greetings, detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. Today's case is the case of the leaking gas valve. Intermittent flame failures on boilers and burners are one of the most frustrating things to troubleshoot because they occur randomly, as the name implies. Sometimes a flame failure occurs several times a day, and other times it may be a week between out outages. One thing is sure, they always seem to fail at the most inopportune times. If the burner has a Honeywell 7800 series flame safe card like the one in the picture, the alarm light, the fifth one down, will flash a constant red light when in flame failure. To reset the boiler from a flame failure, the reset button is below the alarm light and has to be pushed. If the button has a flame failure again, do not keep pressing the reset button. Try to find the cause of the flame failure. When we arrived at the building, the owner told us the boiler failed every few days. To restart the boiler, the owner would have to push the button on the flame safeguard. When I connected the digital display to the flame safeguard, it allowed me to see the, view, the failure history. The Honeywell Display Module for the 7800 Series Flame Safeguard is a great service tool, by the way. The failure history showed flame failures at the main flame ignition phase or during the main flame. Most flame failures occur during the pilot stage, so these errors surprised me. One of the first things I check when troubleshooting an intermittent flame failure is to verify the wiring connections are tight on the burner terminal strips. During burner operation, the electrical connections tend to loosen and this could cause intermittent flame failures. Before checking the wiring conditions, verify the power is off to the boiler. Another common problem is a loose neutral wire. When they are connected under a wire nut, sometimes the wires do not make contact. After tightening all the wires, I cycled the boiler several times and ran perfectly each time. Did I fix it, I wondered? You never know in a job with intermittent flame failures. Deciding to take one last look before leaving, I saw red fluid inside the gas valve actuator window. The red fluid is hydraulic fluid and used to operate the gas valve. The fluid in the window means the seals inside the actuator are leaking. The loss of fluid can cause erratic operation of the gas valve and flame failures. It may be slow opening and in some instances it could cause the valve to shut while the burner is firing. Although the actuator may operate this way for several months, I recommend replacing the actuator if any fluid is visible. The actuator will have sporadic failures and will eventually fail completely, usually at 5 p.m. on a Friday after the supply house closes. While intermittent flame failures due to leaking hydraulic fluid can be a nuisance, there is a safety reason for replacing the leaking valve actuator. The fluid is sticky and if it gets on the gas valve plunger, it could cause the valve to fail in an open position. This means the fuel could continue feeding into the boiler and create a hazardous condition even when the boiler is shut off. Boom! The actuators could be expensive to replace, but considering the safety of yourself and your building, it is well worth it. The gas valve actuator is mounted on the safety shutoff gas valve. Attached to the plunger of the gas valve, the actuator pushes the plunger down on a call for heat and allows gas to flow to the burner. When the call for heat ends, the actuator lifts the plunger, shutting off gas to the boiler. The actuator should be replaced by someone familiar with boilers. When ordering a replacement Honeywell gas valve actuator, be sure to get all the numbers on the actuator. The four digit number is a date code. This tells you when the actuator was manufactured. The actuator model 
number consists of a letter followed by four numbers and then another letter. They are usually four numbers after that and they are crucial to, fi to finding the correct unit. In this case, the actuator is a V4062A1009. With that number, the wholesale house should be able to get the proper replacement. If you would like to contact me, I have my contact information below. This includes my cell and the two websites that I publish. This is all the books I've written so far. I have 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon.com. I write articles for several trade publications and they are online as well. Thanks for visiting Boiler Room Detective. I hope that you listen to my other podcasts and hear the next case. Thank you very much.